all right guys welcome back we are here in ohio uh, so far this morning we've seen a black bear on the side of the road munching on a weed um, and seen a pretty sign coming into ohio crossing a bridge from uh, west virginia into ohio that, that sammy didn't get a picture of but that's okay i didn't either so it's not all his fault but trailer's doing good it's pulling good I checked the temperature on the hubs. All the hubs are running between 114 and about 95 degrees. And I don't think I showed you guys this. I got this DZ toolbox for the truck. It's running good. So got about 350 more miles to go and we'll be in Michigan. I'll try to do a couple more updates on the way. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, we're in, Sammy says Columbus, and I was gonna try to make a funny little part of the video saying that I was not gonna complain about North Carolina roads again, because the road was shaking up and down so fast, it was like you were in a fan, talking in, in front of a fan. And, uh, but that's where we're at right now. Just got done with lunch. There we go. It's shaking good now. <laughs> so, golly, <laughs> man, somebody forgot how to level concrete out when they made a road. But let's catch in a little bit. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, yesterday, I know we didn't have a lot of footage of traveling. It, uh, we got through all the shaking and the bumping and, um, and then it rained. Big old thunderstorm, it was pouring rain everywhere. And I'll tell you, my long sleeves in Michigan are working out just fine because it is cold to me. So why are we here in Michigan? Well, so I have a good friend, Stan. Stan is a subscriber of the channel, and I have been talking to, with him through emails and text and stuff for uh, a couple years. And you guys have probably seen, uh, I think I'll put the footage in before this bit right here, but you've seen me hand cranking some tractors. Uh, one, I just wanted to do it, and two, <laughs> one of them battery was kind of low and it was dragging the starter, so we hand cranked it. But Stan, has blessed the channel 
with two Super A's. And so that is the trip up here. He's blessed us with two Super A's. He asked, he got with me about six months ago and asked me about it. And, you know, of course, I, I was like, man, I, I don't, I, no, not me, Stan. I, I don't want to take the tractor. And uh, somebody's starting something now. But he, you know, he told me, he said he wanted to. And so my buddy Roger has always helped me out. And uh, I called Roger up. I said, Roger, well, I, I don't need two Super A's. I'd like to give you one. And so Roger rode up here with me. And Roger's going to take this Super A right here. And I'm going to take this Super A. So I'll show you a little bit about them. You already seen me hand cranking, so you know it runs. <laughs> It's got a woods mower on it. I guess the ultimate plan would be, guys, do you remember those Super A arms that I thought was 140? Well, maybe that was a blessing in disguise, so we're gonna put them on this tractor. I gotta get with Brandon or somebody, and we're gonna see if we can find us a fast hitch for the back. We'll put a fast hitch on it, and uh, we'll take the woods mower off but we may leave it on there for this fall. I probably won't do this this fall. This would be a, this would be a little bit of a project. You guys know, you just don't roll across a complete fast hitch for 50 bucks. So, uh, I'm no rich man by no, no stretch. So it's going to take a little bit for, you know, for us to get the fast hitch. The, the brake is rusted down for some reason. So we gotta, we gotta address the brake it's it won't come back up it's unhooked over there at the clevis this one's fine but this one's seized on the shaft we got to figure that out and then uh it got has a little bit of rust on the grill here but you know what that's fine we'll take care of that uh rogers is i mean it probably i, I mean don't let the paint fool you yes this one's got beautiful paint on it and everything but that one they're both nice tractors. I mean, just nice tractors. So, uh, I think Stan said the clutch may be slipping a little bit in fourth gear on this one. That's fine. Uh, if it's one thing you can put a clutch in and that's, that's a super A it's, you know, all right, guys, I, uh, I got Roger to hold the camera for me because somebody don't know this. I told you that Roger's taking that one and I'm going to get this one. But what nobody knows is Sammy, come here. This is going to be the Sammy Super A. This is Sammy's tractor. I'm giving it to him. I want him to have it. Wait. I want you to have that tractor, son. Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> look at everybody right there. I didn't. So okay. this is, we'll call this the Sammy Super A. And this will be Sammy's tractor. So, all right, get your camera. I thought this was just a color name. <laughs> what do you think, bud? Yeah, I was just gonna be happy to be able to drive it when we get home. No, that's your tractor. You can have it. It's yours. Okay. You can tell your brothers that you have a tractor and they don't. But no, that's obviously we'll use it on the channel. We'll fix it up. But it'll be Sammy's and uh, he won't have to question anything about it. Stan, do you want to be on camera? It doesn't bother me. What do you well, come on over here. <laughs> That's fine. Starting fluid. We'll hold. Best we'll hold this up, guys. This is Stan. He's a. Uh, uh, how long have we been talking about? Two years. No, longer than. Longer than. That. Yeah, yeah. This is Stan, and he's the one that's blessed the channel. And I, you didn't hear me. I just brought Sammy over there. Yeah. And got Roger to hold it. Yeah. And I told Sammy that is a Sammy Super Eight. That's going to be his tractor. I see. He can tell his brothers, I have a tractor. Now, see, I thought it was going to be a stand. Now it's a Sammy. Well, Dirty dog we'll, we'll call it the Super <laughs> Sam stand. That's what we'll do. It. I, I think we've got enough tractors here. I can name something. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody, y'all be sure glad to comment, Stan, for helping us out and blessing us with these tractors and uh, let them know how much we love them. I'm afraid Sammy's going to fall over there. <laughs> I don't know. Has that got some kind of mobilization, stabilization? No, yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's good. All right. Well, All right. you'll have to do some editing, I'm sure.
Well, no, nah, we ain't got to do it. We'll let it roll just like it is. It be fine. Oh, guys, Stan's taking us tomorrow to a, a tractor. Yeah, the big, biggest Michigan tractor show. And it's over in Oakley. It's not far. Okay, I'm going to swallow my pride. pride and I'm going to hold that camera rig, and we're going to try to bring you the best video we can see, of this thing. And I don't care if everybody's looking at me saying, what's that guy doing? If we went today, see, there's seniors and veterans, and we get in for half price, but tomorrow we've got to pay the full That's right. Well, we'll <laughs> I'll tell you, we'll take care of it. <laughs> so we'll bring, you, we'll bring you that. We'll get you some footage of loading here in a little bit. All right, we're back, guys. Whew. Got it loaded up. Uh, I, again, it's uh, you know I was thinking I was like, man, I need to do some video here, and I'm a little bit out of my element. And again, I'll get better with doing that when I'm not at home and filming better. But we got straps on the axle, straps on the rims, tied down, tied down. Uh, I think I think we're ready to ride. I don't believe I'm gonna do. I probably ain't gonna do maybe 60, 63, four miles an hour with it. Um, had one board right here break a little bit, that one, but it's still got quite a bit on this board right here, so I think we'll be fine. And I do have a board on the back of the truck that if it ain't fine, we'll uh, put that under the front wheel if we need to. I can, you know, we'll jack it up or something real quick and unloose the binders and jack it up put a board under it so we'll be fine there but other than that look forward to tomorrow to the tractor show uh that's kind of a bonus deal i didn't think i didn't find that out till we got here and so that's going to be a nice bonus deal for this video so we'll have picking up the tractors from stan and got the sammy super a super a sammy sammy super a which one is it the sammy super a that's what's going to be sammy super a and Roger's got this one. He's gonna. Roger's plan is to take the mower off. Obviously, I'm sure he'll clean it up and stuff, and take the mower off, and make a planting tractor. Set up, set up his belly planter, and and make a good just leave it planting. That'll be the only tractor he plants with. He won't cultivate it with, and he'll have just a planting tractor. And so that'll be what that is. And Sammy's, we're gonna eventually. It won't be no time soon, and it won't be. Uh, real quick but we'll eventually want to get a fast hitch on it some cultivating arms and uh <clears throat> that way we can plant with this and we can cultivate with it 
do whatever so we'll get sammy set up right on that but anyway I don't, we may film something else tonight but if we don't i'll see you tomorrow Hey guys, good morning. We are at a Michigan, uh, what's it called? Mid-Michigan Tractor Show. Mid-Michigan Tractor Show. Sammy, reach up with that thing and show how big this thing is. It is huge. <laughs> Fixing to go in, so we'll see what we can film and get into. All right, guys. There is so many tractors here. I believe I could make a nine hour video if I tried to film all of them. This horn behind me here. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is, is something that just stands out odd that, that we like. You know, we'll film it just like this uh, Oliver Super 44 here. I would say that this it doesn't have the cultivators on it, but this was a competitor to the Farmall 100. Uh, it, I don't know how many they sold. I don't know a whole, whole lot about them. I've really only seen them a couple of times in my life, but lo and behold, here's one of them, a Super 44, and it's an offset tractor. So we know what we can do with those tractors. So guys, I wanted to come over here because this tractor here, the Fortson Major, this is the first tractor I ever remember my daddy having. And uh, I can remember riding on the fender of it while he was disking land and uh, it, it was pretty good. Uh, Roger's texting me, where are you at? <laughs> but come around right here, Sammy. This one's a 1953 Fortson Major. And it's just like the one Daddy had. I like it pretty good. Here's one with a front end loader. We'll get up here and look at a few more. Oh, that's pretty cool, guys. Little John Deere. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It's not as big as a bee. It's a little smaller tractor. Got us an A over here. Obviously this A doesn't have, I don't think it has the hydraulics, nope. All manual. Nice little tractor. Super H. And another H. There's a pulling tractor there. Woo, just miles and miles of tractors, my goodness. Oh, I like this one. 560. Gasoline engine. John Deere General Purpose. That one's roped off. You guys will have to drop a comment about what's special about that one. Farmall H with metal wheels. I don't know if that, that tractor kind of seems a little new for the metal wheels. I'm thinking it Maybe should have had rubber? I don't know. One that I've always liked, guys, I've always liked the Ford Workmasters. I'm kind of, I think they're pretty neat little tractors.
this seems to be a pretty big tractor here international 600 I think this is one of those ones that starts on gasoline runs on diesel and yep that would be the case It stays gasoline. That's a neat little tractor. That's pretty neat right there guys. Two roll corn picker. On a Super MTA. That's good. And here we have a F12. Oh man, that is neat. I was watching a video last night of Pete using something like this. It may have even been an F12, I'm not sure. I think this would qualify for odd John Deere A high crop no I don't know a whole lot about it but she's up in the air a lot of background noise guys tons of background noise here's a Massey I like the looks of this thing. Massey 1100. Always like this style Massey, square, grill. They always just look so beefy. That is a little vegetable special That's cool. it's an a tricycle tractor. offset tractor now i'll tell you what guys i don't know that i've ever seen one of these take your tricycle to the vegetable garden yeah it's offset too sammy that's a good idea i like that. offset tricycle that's pretty neat i'll be darned there's another massey 1100 I guess there's something with this being white, maybe a demonstrator. Not a bad little Super A. I don't believe that it has ever had anything hooked to it. Yeah, I don't think it's ever cultivated much, guys. Got us an Oliver, 1650, front wheel assist, nice. Guys, there are tractors all over this place. That little white tractor there was a demonstrator. I was talking to the guy and it's his uncle's and he probably would sell it. It has never seen a field and I can about 
I think I can vouch for that from looking at the arms, the brake pedal, the clutch pedal. I mean, it's, uh, man, that's an amazing little piece right there. 1937 F20. Oh, man, that's pretty. Alright guys, I, I get pretty excited about this one. A little Ford 3000. Oh man. I'd love to have that. I guess this is a little gasoline engine. I've always heard that they plow good, but I really like this tractor. It looks good. That is a farm all M. A B running. Single wheel. John Deere 530. Obviously, I guess Steiner is sponsoring maybe some of this, which would make sense because Stan said the headquarters or the warehouse for Steiner was just down the road from his house. That's a neat little booger. Massey Harris in the wild, in her original glory. Well, here's a WC with metal wheels. And I said, guys, that I don't know a whole lot about these older tractors, but I did say I would tell you if I seen something odd. And I believe that qualifies for a little bit odd. So we got two Olivers. on a probably a hand-built chassis I'm sure so that would qualify as the the odd pretty tractor man I can only imagine the machine work it took to make it they're twins yeah Oliver 660.
Australia. Australian special, park car. Wow, that's a big boy. Rumley. Greyhound. And a big old boy here. There's my lawnmower guys, right there. I need that. I found it. I want it. I need it bad. It's even got a fast hitch on it. Oh man. Little cub low boy. That's me. <laughs> I like that little thing. Goodness. Poor little fast hitch as big as a trotter. <laughs> Look at that thing. Who's plant? A pen? A little Anything like that? Just rolls and rolls of parts. Parts and more stuff and all kinds of good yard sale stuff this whole place is surrounded with this some pretty cool stuff I like it it looked pretty good it's pretty neat guys somebody rebuilds all these carburetors Looks like that's who does it. I spy a Comfort King case. Man, that looks like a stout tractor. Goodness gracious. Hopefully, uh, we'll just film a little bit here. Hopefully, y'all like those engines in that shed. Those were diesel engines I think and then some hit and miss engines I'm trying to not talk too much but I don't want to talk at all just trying to soak in the feel for the whole thing there's a nice little tractor Ford what's this Minneapolis Moline behind me it's pretty nice 
Wow, what a big engine. Just look at that. The head split in two different sections. I guess, I don't know if the piston goes up in there or not. It is something. Wow. Oh, I spy another case that looks real pretty. We'll go see it. It don't take long, guys. You can just look around and see something, something else and something else. Yeah, that is a pretty low case. VAC. Oh, I like this truck here. It's kind of a mini Peterbilt. That looks pretty cool. Sammy, do you notice that truck? It's Optimus Prime. Yeah, it's a mini Peterbilt. It's not a full-fledged tractor-trailer truck. I knew something was low about it. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That's a 359 model. No stand cab. Well, three bottom. Guys, that's some... I think it's a Briggs and Stratton engine in there. I'm not sure about this one. Probably some sort of... Huh. That's pretty neat. The kids can actually ride inside that. Tractor over here. I knew of one when I was little. A neighbor called Mr. Perkins is what we called him. Mr. Perkins had one of these. And you can really do some cultivating with it. It is it is a cultivating machine as you can see. I know they're Alice Chamels, but I don't know exactly what it is it's a G Alice Chamel G that's right I knew that I just forgot Sammy at you there's a tent just full of Oliver's oh there's another super 44 uh, gotta go see it gotta go see it So that's two that I've seen at this show. I really like that Trotter. I never knew at one time where two was in Person County, one owner, when I was doing Drake TV. Let's see, more Oliver's, more Oliver's. As far as you can see, Oliver's. There's a couple of internationals over here. Let's go look at these. They're looking pretty, pretty spiffy. Okay, we got another A. In which you know, guys, Sammy is a proud A owner. It has been wore that much. This is like mine. They yeah. This up. Except I don't have that belt spinner. I don't have that belt spindle. Looks like it's got a brilliant wearing harness on it. A brill brill man wearing harness. Good looking tractor. Switched over to 12 volts. Horn, but that's a nice D19. I don't care too much for the cab. And I know one of my subscribers really loves that.
dark in here guys but thought we'd try to see if we could get this gentle giant never heard of the name of most of these but This brings back a few memories. We had a Master Ferguson 65 when I was growing up also. It was my grandpa's. Daddy had the Fortson Major and grandpa had the 65 diesel. Put a lot of hours on it. Finally, something that I have drove. 1466 Black Strike. It don't get much better than that. That is, uh, when I think international, I think of the 66 series. Ah, here's another G with well, some sort of track upgrade. Okay. <laughs> Ski ramps for the front tires. Tracks for the rear. I don't know what the purpose is, but works for me. What a farm show. There's so much I didn't show. Uh, man, it'd been a five hour video, but <laughs> I like that. I, I'm glad we got to be in it and see it. And uh, now the next thing is to get uh, nine hours back home, 10 hours back home. Uh, we'll, we may try to film a little bit of that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but thank you for hanging in there and we'll see you in a little bit.